and I'm right here. And here's Elijah. Hello, Elijah. How are you? Here we are. Hi. Let's move a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Love and you, this buddy. This is Manuela. Manuela. And this is Manuela. Anna. <laughs> and this is Elijah. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so this is the menu for Manuela. There's salads. Things that we can share, brunch, market vegetables. So I got blister, snap peas, black quinoa, sesame date, butter, feta. Well, without feta because I, I don't eat cheese. It's right here. And then I got new potatoes, shishito, pickled onion, of course, radish. It also looks really good. Hi. It looks amazing. It's over Benedict, like with ham, mm -hmm. cheese, like eggs Benedict, watch yeah. eggs. So it looks delicious. What about this one? This one is like arugula salad and and goat cheese and some pecans and something else. Like it's also looks very good. I like it already. Elijah, can you tell me a little bit more about yourself, about your music, your passion, what gets you moving? Tell us more. Um, I'm, my name is Elijah Gregory and I'm a singer and songwriter. I started when I was three years old, then I had a few dozens of contests and I became like a professional singer and songwriter. And also I have experience as a back vocalist, which is also amazing experience, I love it. So now I live in LA about two years and five months and I'm in love with this city, you know. I love it. So how do you usually uh, book gigs? How do you approach venues? Do you call them? Do you email them? Everybody thinks that it's kind of a secret thing which somebody can give you an answer, like how to book gigs. All I can to tell you, people, <laughs> is better to do anything you can. So I'm going in, uh, in person to these places, if I like these places. So I'm just asking everyone who working there, like who is manager and how can I contact with this person? Or if I'm going some, thank you. Or if I'm going somewhere like, you know, like, um, and I don't know anybody there, I'm just trying to make a research and like, and then like I'm, I'm calling them. So it's always depends from um, each place, you know? All, of, all, all places have different like situations. So networking, friends, uh, going there, like walking in, in person, everything works. And uh, the main, most important part of it, it's just you don't need to be shy. You need always like to go, be polite, nice, and uh, you need to know how to introduce yourself. And in my case, the uh, personal uh, communication, like in person, work in the best way. What challenges do you experience as an independent musician? For me, it's the most difficult part of it. It's just to make a first step. Like, you know, because I don't know from where to start. And so I'm, I have this yellow notepad and I'm writing down all my thoughts, all my goals, like what I want to achieve. And sometimes it's huge, at least. <laughs> so, and, and yeah, and so it helping me to focus on, um, on the main thing, like what, what I can do right now, what I can make right now. And then I started to think like this way. I'm, I'm just, how you call it, splitting everything, like small pieces, and like making this small steps, like true, you know, like done, you know, like check. Yeah. Like one step, another one, and next one, and something like that. Yeah. Any other thing you... Any other things that you find challenging? Yes. And being a recording artist, it, singer. Yeah. So um, when when I when I understand what I want to do, like if it's some project or song or something, the first uh, thing it, it's is uh, finding right people for this, you know, a team. Because for me, it's not enough that it's person like a super professional. For me, it's not enough. <laughs> For me, this person should be the like matching with me, you know. Uh, even if we, if we, if we totally different, like as a person, like personality. But if we found our way of communication, like you know, some, I call it frequencies. 
So we both should be excited about what we're doing together. And uh, and in my um, from my side, it should be like very clear picture of the whole project. If I'm like um, I'm the one who started it, you know, and it, because I need to explain it very clear. And th this is. Not, not easy because usually you always like you know going here or there like oh my god I just oh no there you know like all creative people so I'm doing things like that yeah, so yeah teamwork do you think live music is important for venues like this is it beneficial do they get anything out of it what's your opinion about it? in my humble opinion <laughs> it's important for everybody but uh, not Every venue like needs musicians. Some venues they just not about it, you know. And it's very important to understand like which, which venue uh, like matching with this situation and which is not. So, but for venues uh, which are compatible, like with live performances, uh, it's amazing thing. Like. Uh, because live music uh, making can make anything like alive, you know, vibrant. And uh, so, like I, I'm working with a cover band, uh, which is attached to the a restaurant and banquet hall. And uh, they they have like a most important rule that they need to like make musicians comfortable as much as possible because if musicians don't feel comfortable people don't like music you know they don't have atmosphere so beautiful place unfortunately they don't have live music and as they said that sometimes they do in new years or big holidays so we'll see if we can play in this place because it's really nice the atmosphere is nice people seem very happy <laughs> So yeah, it was a great experience.